Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Scroggs from The Modern Day MacGyver on YouTube. Uh, here we are with another emergency, trying to make a quick fix to uh, bail us out of this crazy situation we're in. Uh, God's blessed me with an awesome wife. She is so precious. And uh, she was in tears a little while ago as she came over to her mom's house uh, to tell everybody that a pipe busted uh, at our home and flooded the entire house. Water was pouring out the front door, the back door, pouring into the central heat and air uh, vents and the floor. And so the whole house was flooded. Uh, brings me to the whole problem that we're dealing with. My wet vac is an hour away on a uh, job site where we were helping a widow lady restore a home. So we have no way of sucking up water. And as anyone knows, uh, you don't want to leave water standing in a house overnight, especially a trailer house, because the underneath this carpet is uh, sawdust and glue. It's not real wood, honestly. So uh, getting the water extracted is very urgent. So what I've done at 2 o'clock in the morning, I've gone over to my mother-in-law's house, and before she wakes up, I'll put it all back, so... Please don't tell on me, y'all, because um, she doesn't have YouTube, so she won't know unless somebody tells. Um, I robbed a couple parts off of her swimming pool. Uh, this goes on to the eyeball jet and also onto the sand filter and even in and out of the uh, pumps on a swimming pool. Well, I'm going to show you all how to make a emergency wet vac to suck up water uh, using your house vacuum cleaner. Uh, you can also do this if you have a shop vac and you just don't want to get the water inside your shop vac. But I just actually took a uh, uh, five-gallon bucket. That's what her chlorine pucks were in. I'll put it back too. And uh, I took the uh, pool filters, or I'm oh, sorry, the pool fittings for the swimming pool. And I just cut a hole in the top with my Dremel, one of my favorite tools, cutter, cutter bit on a Dremel. And um, then I just screwed these two nipples down in. Now, on the um, pickup side where I'm going to be vacuuming up water, I went ahead and took a little piece of one-inch PVC pipe. Um, in fact, I didn't know if I would have this. So I just found some old vacuum cleaner wands uh, that were hollow tubes. And so anything like that to allow this uh, pickup tube to go farther down into the bucket. Um, because you want the water that you're going to suck up to shoot down low. You want the pickup tube that's going to hook up to your vacuum to be up high. So there's no tube on the, on the vacuum side. And I want to give a little plug. Um, I used to be an old Kirby salesman. Kirby vacuum cleaners are by far the best in the world. And um, they, they actually, when you hook up a CFM airflow meter on them, they pull way more uh, cubic feet per minute of air than a five horsepower shop vac. So I prefer doing all my work with a Kirby anyway. Kirby hit me up, sponsor the modern day MacGyver. Uh, I love Kirby's. Matter of fact, first thing I did whenever Christy and I began dating, I bought her one and me one because uh, my mother in law already had one. We're Kirby folks. So anyway, enough about Kirby for now, anyways, until um, they sponsor me. Then I'll sing their praises all the time. But uh, Kirby Vacuum Cleaner wand. This is actually the um, eyeball jet hose off of my mother-in-law's swimming pool. Um, that I just hooked up to the fittings. And I use a little bit of Gorilla duct tape right here. But uh, we just kick on the Kirby. And uh, all our water is going to be collected right here in the bucket. <laughs> those of y'all that don't believe it works, you can hear the water already. It takes too long to unscrew the lid, so I just wanted you to hear it. Uh, it works amazing. Uh, but anyway, I know you can also do this for a, uh, a dust catcher. 
If you'd like to build one of these to catch dust, if you're a woodworker or sanding or you're running a saw lot that gets dust, um, you can also double bucket it uh, where, where you have more of a chance to not get any uh, moisture back into your vacuum. But uh, this is two in the morning, y'all. Almost three, probably. And I just want my carpets to be dry for my wife when she wakes up in the morning because she's an amazing woman and she deserves to wake up to a clean house. So uh, I just wanted to show y'all real quick how you can make a wet vac out of your house vacuum cleaner. And in my case, out of our Kirby. And uh, another thing, um, and I did ask permission already. Thank God my brother-in-law was up real late back here behind me. Y'all, if you ever get your carpets wet, a lot of people go down to the rental place, tour rental, and you buy a big fan. My brother-in-law has a bounce house, one of those big old giant slides that air up. And so that's what you see back here. The green and yellow is a bounce house uh, fan that blows those things up. They move so much air that once I'm done sucking up all the water out of this carpet, I'm going to kick that fan on and let it blow overnight. And by the time my wife wakes up in the morning, she's going to have a dry carpet and a clean house, all because of this do-it-yourself wet vac bucket in the middle of the night. And thanks, Connie, my mother-in-law. I'll put your pool parts back, I promise. Love y'all. Uh, click like if you liked the video. Go check out some of my other videos on the Modern Day MacGyver at YouTube.com. Y'all have a blessed day. Spread some love.